Did I leave you guys on a bit of a cliffhanger? I can't tell you my own personal frustration over the cliffhanger. We've had setbacks. Poor Jangles here, got a stone bruise. And stone bruise, come on, hold up. Uh, got infected. Well, the stone bruise caught an abscess and the abscess got infected. And uh, that really put us back. He is on the mend now, I had to get the vet out and uh, do all sorts of uh, new and wonderful things that I'm learning about with horses. Uh, our trusty steeds, hey? But um, Gurley, unfortunately as well, is a bit laid up. I could not pass up the opportunity to get her in foal uh, by a, a horse that has the bloodline of a legendary horse that my old man has talked about for years and we've talked about getting our horses uh, in foal for years so I couldn't pass up this opportunity and uh, I asked the breeder though and he said I could ride her you know but be really gentle the first three months and the last Hazel get away that is not dog food uh, the last three months so boy oh boy though let me tell you about gold fever and frustration hazel go away little doggy oh i've got to go get the boot for him who up who up who up who up and the tours Tours have been going nanas over the school holidays. Oh, I've been busy, but all of this has just got to come to a grinding halt. Uh, I'm going to get Henry to do the tours. Uh, it's a strange frustration I'm feeling with all of these setbacks and wanting to get back out and find some good gold. And it's like time is running out for me. So uh, I'm feeling a real urgent sense uh, of time is running out. So enter Dollar, okay. my spare horse. He's a bit of a special fellow and uh, he's got a bit of a special history. But Dollar, I tell you what, I'm just gonna have to use him. <laughs> Might be good for him. Special horse with a special history and uh, that's why I sort of wanted to do the YouTube channel because girl is bomb proof so I'd be silly not to breed from her She's the best horse I've ever had in my life and uh, that's what I thought I could do this YouTube stuff for We've got a new one here staying with us for a little while must be something there she likes Anyway, I'm gonna soak this put his little booty on and uh, Go get dollar Poor Jingle And uh, doggy's full, finally stopped eating. Jangles, little booties on. Let's get out of here. Let's go get Dollar. Bye. All righty, on the road with Dollar. And uh, I think I'll just abbreviate to that story about Gurley and uh, the legendary bloodline. As uh, the professor had a mentor in horsemanship back in the day, George Anderson was his name, and uh, I only met him a couple of times when I was a tiny, tiny little baby. He was an old fella, but uh, the professor said that George would rave on about this horse, uh, whose name I think is Chip Chase Sadaka, and uh, look at this tea tree, Good story about tea tree later too, uh, but he said this horse would just roam through the hills, never get tired of breath, and would win every race. And uh, anyway, the professor's kept in touch with the breeder for all these years, so I'm quite excited to possibly get a little foal in 11 months. Anyway, let's get down into the creek, hopefully, get some gold. Alrighty, we have arrived at the spot where all the action has been happening. And you guys will have to bear with me a little bit because Henry's out at the moment getting ready to work in the mine, the new mine that's opening up in Hill End. 
which I think is really cool that he's gonna have the bragging rights to say that he's working in a mine. But, uh, oh, I can't. My tours are just going, you know, crazy lately. And uh, I'll tell you what, uh, speaking of the tours though, and just how busy I have been, I've had to do, uh, by popular demand, a couple of ghost tours. Because I know some really good local ghost stories. And I got a bit of feedback a few times. They, uh, I'm not trying to blow my own, my own horn, but they said I was a good storyteller. A few people said it. So I thought, well, there's a bit of a light bulb there. That's one of my strengths that I shall utilize. So, you know, because I, I worry that people think digging's boring. Uh, I do. So, how do I make digging entertaining? How do I use my strengths and, you know, things like this? I will tell you stories. Lots of stories. I've got lots of stories all about gold and hill end. Where do I begin? I'll get into the puddle there. Watch this up. Oh, I should start with stories of gold fever and what it does to me. I'm gonna go off on all tangents and all sorts of things, hopefully keep you guys entertained. Well, fingers crossed we get some color. Well, there's nothing better than stories about people you know, and people about gold and things like that. And uh, I know this young fella around the corner, young Matty was his name, and uh, Shearer, lovely little fella, but uh, Actually, I mentioned tea tree. I can tell you a story about Maddie and tea tree because a couple of years ago, and all of us as young fellas normally get a paddock basher, and it was a couple of years ago I, I went out and uh, I know his older brothers quite well and uh, I had a yarn to them and young Maddie said, oh, jump in the paddock basher, Joe, we'll take you for a drive. And I said, yeah, all right, no worries. And we're driving around down his, his back paddock and uh, he said, Take, check this out. This is about that tea tree. Because it gets real thick through here. Like, you couldn't walk through it. And uh, he hooked a quick left through this scrub of tea tree. And just ploughed through it. And uh, it was almost like, you know, if you were in space and you were going through hyperdrive, the tea tree was just a blur beside us. And I thought, and I looked over and he was staring at me the whole time while we were ploughing through it. And that's when the penny dropped. And I said, oh, you've done this a few times, have you, Matty? He said, yeah. <laughs> and he said, we'll come out into a clearing soon. And before you know it, boof, straight out into this clearing. But uh, we get good skills doing silly things like that. But yeah, uh, young Matty called me up one day and said, uh, he's on a good spot of gold. He'd been there for a bit. But he was, he was uh, having a bit too far much fun and uh, started to get a bit lonely. I wanted to share it and I thought that was really kind of him. So I went around and we jumped in the four wheel drive and went out to his secret spot. But I could feel the anxiety in him a little bit because he didn't realize like he talked it up a bit. He was like, there's good gold there, there's good gold. And then obviously we get out there and I could see he's starting to think, what if he doesn't find any gold? And uh, on the first pan, a little bit of color. And then we chiseled out this, this rock uh, that uh, looked like, you know, part of the bedrock. But we got underneath it and on my second pan washed up this beautiful little nugget. And you should have seen the relief in him. And then he got some good gold and then I was getting some good gold. And uh, these are the times I think we remember, eh? Good story. There's half a dozen little specks there. Um, says it's there. I think it also says... I better stop storytelling and just focus on some digging and getting you guys some colour. Not too shabby. Oh boy, oh boy. I was getting pretty worried. I've done... I know, you've still got all your stuff on you. I've been hooking in. I'll take it all off soon, Dollar. Let me get this camera working because look at this stuff that has just popped up now. Ooh. Ah, yes. Right. Back onto it. 
You beauty. Ah, oh, it's a good looking color. I can't tell you guys how like just absolutely spoilt I feel having my own secret spot, hey. And uh, I've told Sarah, oh nice and hard packed in, that's good. I've told Sarah and Henry, I reckon it's about 500 meters that way and about 500 meters that way. I'm just gonna spend the rest of my life down here. Just wow. It's like super hit and miss and patchy as most places are like in your land. But uh, wow. Not a lot of just chunky stuff today, hey. Happy days. Put that in the sample bottle and keep on going. Probably get out of here soon. A bit of luck. Yes, God, it's regrettably to leave. I can't complain too much, but the good times have definitely slowed down. I have uh, gotten that out of the last half a dozen pans and I'm starting to get a bit knocked up. So, I'm going to saddle up Dollar and we're going to return. Alrighty, take me home Dollar. Gold has been so much fun today, and I am so keen to see what we have. Here we go. Oh boy, it's always so much uh, just worry when there are some stakes on it. And here we go. Here we go. 1.27. Oh, that is like just enough to keep me wanting to go back down there and uh, I just want to go back down there and um, wow sample I think I need to find another spot down there I need to keep going down there I need to just keep looking around down there and uh, if I can average that a day wow I'll be down there a while but I'm, I'm getting this gold and that's the main thing until next time